Night sky, neon cars firing down the strip, cold air, shimmering asphalt. This is the one and only Las Vegas Grand Prix. Now, Las Vegas might look like a straight line festival, but as every strategist learns very fast, this track is a trap. It tempts you with top speed and steals all your grip when you least expect it. So today we are walking through the real strategy story behind the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Why tire temperature rules everything and why setups that look slow on paper can win the race and why Vegas is still one of the most deceptive tracks in all of Formula One. Right, so the reality of the strip circuit itself. This is 6.2 kilometers of ultra smooth, ultra cold street surface. It is the lowest grip of the entire season. The track opens to the public traffic every night, which means the rubber never stays down and the surface resets before every single day starts. Temperatures hover around 12 to 15 degrees. That is ice cold for these tires. So the moment the car leaves the garage, the tires start fighting to hold the heat and the battle shapes every stint and every qualifying lap here. Tire warm up is the entire game. Not necessarily just top speed, not downforce level, tire energy. If you miss the first five laps of a stint, the tire grains and the strategy can collapse entirely. Now, the sector breakdown, where the time really comes from here. Sector one, long straights, low load corners. The tires lose temperature the entire time. Drivers head into the next sequence with the front axle that is under the working range. And that's important because when the fronts are cold, every overcorrection risks graining the tire surface. We enter sector two. Now this is the critical zone. Turns six to eight decide the entire stint profile. The car is lightly loaded, the tires are super vulnerable, and the surface is extremely smooth. If the front slides here, the graining phase begins. And once that surface layer tears the compound, it loses grips for the next 10 to 15 laps. And this is why Vegas produces such big performance drops if you push even a little too early. One mistake through that sequence and you are locked into a two stop whether you wanted it or not. Now, sector three, the long acceleration zone to turn 14. Urs management, battery timing, minimizing scrubbing through the long radius. This is where overtakes are set up, but only if the tires are alive. Now, the tire story here, medium versus hard. Let's talk compounds. The medium, C4, is fast early, but it's unstable in the cold and it grains if you push it before it crosses the temperature window. Most medium stints we've seen so far have dropped off between lap seven and lap 12 if the tires are stressed. The hard C3 is the strongest race tire here both years. It's stable over long distances, low wear, low degradation, and almost no structural drop off. This is why both years have converged on a medium hard based strategy. Soft C5, a qualifying tire only, and in so far it's not been viable at race fuel loads. But what's going to happen this year? The hard tire is still expected to be the real star of Vegas. It gives consistency, it gives a long run pace, and it avoids the graining cliff that can destroy that medium tire. But why does Vegas trick a lot of engineers? Well, the layout says low drag, long straights, simple corners. You look at the map and other than thinking spider pig, you think low downforce is the obvious answer. But Vegas tricks you. Every millimeter of front wing you remove increases the sliding. Every slide during the first five laps increases graining and every graining event pulls you into a slower strategy. So the counterintuitive trick is often this. You add downforce, even at a track, dominated by straights. You sacrifice two or three kph of speed, but you gain tire stability. And that stability is worth far more over a race distance. So why overtaking has a unique profile here? Vegas is not a classic DRS pass track. You need 
battery stored through sector one, a clean low scrub line through turn seven, a tire delta big enough to close before the braking zone. So overtakes come from strategy offsets and driver performance, not raw straight line pace. Fresh hards win over old mediums. Two stop fading, one stop attempts. Tire condition decides the battle long before top speed does. What will decide this year's race? Well, the Vegas Grand Prix will be won by the team that solves three problems fastest. One, warm up the tires without sliding. Even one degree off target can trigger graining. Two, choose the right downforce level. Too low and you grain. Too high and you lose overtaking power. And three, time the medium hard crossover perfectly. Leave the medium out too long and you lose seconds per lap. Pit too early and you expose yourself to traffic. Vegas rewards discipline and punishes greed. The teams who control tire energy and stay patient through the launch phase of each stint will rise through the field. So, strip cars flashing under the neon lights this is vegas and vegas deals the cards but strategy often plays the hand and this year the smallest choices in tire prep setup load and stint discipline will decide who wins the table